Hey, welcome to Coffee with Deb. I'm Deb Erickson, and I'm the owner of I Can Institute, where we focus on helping women in sales and network marketing elevate their game so that they can live the life of their dreams. Now, today, we're going to be talking about confidence. Now, in yesterday's session, I talked about how every single thought counts, how thoughts add up to create your reality. Now today, we're going to be looking at how thoughts are things and how they either lead you towards having greater confidence or they lead you towards having greater doubt. So first of all, what is confidence? Confidence is actually a feeling of certainty. It's a feeling. It's not really a thought. It's a, it's a feeling. But as we talked about yesterday, thoughts create pictures in the mind and those pictures create feelings. So the truth is confidence is born in your thinking process first and then it moves into a state of emotion. So if you could imagine confidence sitting on a scale, right? And to one side you have all the way to the negative 10, right? Which would be a high level of doubt. And then to the other extreme, you'd have a positive 10 and that would be extreme confidence. What would be the difference? Well, first of all, on the doubt side of the equation, you would have thoughts that begin with, I can't, I won't, I'm not enough. It never, why bother, right? Those kinds of statements would lead you towards doubt. On the other side of the equations, you would have thoughts like, I can, I will, I am enough, I deserve this, that would lead you more towards confidence. Now here's something really interesting. Most psychologists will tell you that if you suffer from doubt, you're probably playing with three Ps. Here's what they are, permanence, personal and pervasive. So here's what we mean by that. That when you look at a problem, first of all, you think it's permanent. It's always going to be this way. It's always been this way. It's almost hopeless that it'll ever change. That's permanence. Now, the second one is personal. It's my fault. I did this. I'm bad. I can't do better. And the third P is pervasive. In other words, it's everywhere. It's every, no one wants to play with me. I'm never going to find someone who will sign up for my program. Got it? Now, on the positive side of the equation, the opposites of those three Ps basically look like this. Optimistic people look at problems and they say, number one, it's temporary. It's not going to last. This is short term, right? The second thing is they look at something and they say, hey, it's local. It's, it's something that's right here. In other words, it's just this person. It's just this one time. And then finally, they say, it's not personal. It's not about me. It's about them. So imagine if you approached your sales from the three Ps and you said something like, you know what, it's always going to be like this. People always say no. I can't find anyone who will ever say yes. It's me. It's all about me. I'm just no good at this. Can you see how your sales, the confidence in your sales would just really plummet? But the flip side of that is, what if you were able to use language that helped you recognize that a no was temporary? It's one person saying no, it's no big deal, it's a once, right? It's just this person in this moment, right here, right now, has nothing to do with me, probably had a bad day. Just feel how there's more lightness in that second approach. Now, people always ask me, Deb, how can I move away from the three Ps and into right, a more optimistic confidence? I'm going to tell you that there's really two keys. Number one, I like to use wonder storming and what ifing. And here's what I mean by that. When you introduce doubt to doubt, so when you say, I don't think I could do it, and then you introduce a doubtful thought to that, which would basically be, I wonder if I could. What if it was possible? What if I stumbled onto the right person? What if I got lucky? I wonder what that would look like. I wonder what it would feel like. See, when you begin to wonder storm in a positive direction and you, what if, what if I could figure it out? What if I had this solution? What if I woke up tomorrow morning and I recruited that individual, that hotshot that I've been looking for that changes everything for me? What if tomorrow is the day? Get it? So. What ifing in a positive direction and wonder storming in a positive direction literally will break up the certainty of your doubt. So in other words, what it does is it's really just opening up space 
for confidence to come in. I want to offer you one more idea, and that's this. If these little coaching tips are great for you, but you say, you know, I'm having a hard time implementing them all by myself, I want to invite you to come and play in our I Can Institute coaching memberships. Let me be your partner in this process and join a community of women who are optimistic, positive, confident women moving boldly into the greatness that they know they can bring to this industry. All you got to do is check out the memberships that are available on our website. I want to help you transform your mind. I want to give you the tools and techniques that you need to grow your business so that the result is that you love utterly and completely love the life that you're creating. I'm Deb Erickson. Thanks so much for giving me time today. Women think about 85,000 thoughts a day. 85,000, literally. From the time we wake up to the time we go to sleep, it is a non-stop stream of consciousness.